Okay, so now let's say you want to put a picture, escape, a picture into one of these frames and be able to move it around, resize it, etc. One of the things you want to do here, hit control on the frame box and go down to fitting. We need to look at our frame fitting options. Okay. Uh, you want to fill the frame proportionally. If you do fit content to frame, it's going to squish a horizontal picture into a vertical frame, even though you want to crop it. It looks like it's on silly putty, so don't do that. Um, fit content proportionally could work, but we want to fill the frame proportionally, so pick that one. Um, we're not going to worry about cropping anything because you can do that later, and it's more of an auto fit scenario. Okay, so we're going to hit OK, and then let's say I want to place. Okay, you can also do Command D, right, to place. Go find your photo. No problem, this one's kind of big, but whatever. So it popped in here. Now if we double click on that, you can see where the rest of the picture is. It's a horizontal picture, so it's not fitting in here great. I can move this, however, you see the blue box moving? That's the whole picture. You can move it accidentally, so it doesn't fill the frame anymore. Or you can move it around until you like what you see. You can also use your arrow keys when it's selected like this to move it a little more accurately, etc., etc. Uh, that kind of thing. Then you can double click and you're good to go. You can also, uh, if you wanted to say zoom in a little bit on it, you could do this. Double click, double click again so we can go back to moving things around and you can get exactly what you want. So that's probably your easiest way to deal with doing layout and then putting the pictures in. If on the other hand, you've already got your set of pictures, which you don't yet, so definitely try both of these. Um, let's say you were doing the baseball page, we had all the baseball pictures, you were ready to go, you knew what you wanted and where you were gonna put it. You could just file, place, grab your photo, Oh, let's, oh yeah, let's grab this one actually. Grab that. See, so you have the little picture in the thumbnail. If you click and drag, it will give you the whole photo and show you how big you want it, right? And then you can let go and there it is. You can still double click on this and then grab a corner. Now I can also do that and make it all weird. So if you start moving this around to, to make it bigger, hold the shift key down so that it doesn't make it look like it's on Silly Putty, right? You guys even know what Silly Putty is anymore, but whatever. So, um, file place is an option. The frame tool is an option. Okay, that's two things. Third thing, text. Here's your text. You can do any number of things with text. You can make a text box. If you make a text box, fabulous. It'll give you your cursor. cursor. You've got, oh, more fonts than we even know what to do with, right? Um, we'll have to pick one at some point that we all like, but we can do that. Uh, pick a size that's a real size. Um, regular's fine, yada, yada, yada. So you can, this is size 10. Whoa, that's a really big space. Okay, so that's your uh, line space up here. You can auto, or we can be like, it's size 10 font. I want size 10 spaces. Or it's size 10 font, I want size 11 spaces. So we can make all kinds of choices there. That's one option. You can also, under text, we have all kinds of things, type on a path, but you have to give it a path. Like, what's a path? My favorite way to make a path is with pen tool, because I use pen tool all the time. You could do like dot, 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 hit return, oops, dot, dot, Oh, I might have to tell it to have, ah, that's why it disappeared. Um, it has no stroke. We would like a stroke, please. Doesn't really matter what color it is. Okay, oops. Fine. So, now I can go over here, type on a path. I can find my path. The little, you get the little plus mark. So, you can do that. You can also like type around something, like if it's a shape or whatever, no problem. Um, 
we don't want to go too nuts with that, but it is an option for us. Um, you can also really easily uh, like do a vertical text kind of thing and spin it sideways if you want to read sideways or whatever's going on. Um, so mess around with those. If you want to work with uh, shapes, so thing number, whatever we're up to, three, four or something, shapes, you have a fill and a stroke. So you can have your outline is the outline thing over here in whatever color you want. I don't know why I would want blue, but there you go. Um, and if it is, where is my, ah, there we go, right here, how wide is that stroke? Super wide, not so super wide. What are we doing? Do you want to make it a rounded corner, angled corner? We got all kinds of things, whatever. Um, maybe we want a fill, a fill, a color, something else. Boy, that's a really bad combination. Uh, lots of options there, right? And if you're like, ooh, I don't like a solid color, I want a gradient. You could do a gradient. Um, right now, I have to go pull up my gradient libraries. Right now it just gives me black and white, but I can set that somewhere. Somewhere. Um, we'll have to pull that up for you. So, oh, we do want to be in CMYK, so that's important. Anyway, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this is enough to get you going. If you, oh, if you also want on your, we talked about doing a frame, uh, not a frame like the Xbox, but a frame around the photos, that's also a stroke. So if we want, say, black, real black, and we want to make it uh, one millimeter, that's how we do that. Um, yeah, because we talked about definitely doing frames around the photos. And if you don't like black, you want white because it'll show up on your background, whatever. Uh, that's great. 